what is up guys it's called awesome here and today we are going to talk about promises and it is just like the promises in real life and i promise that this video will cover everything about promises so let's get started i hope you do have some understanding about callback functions and if you don't just watch this 10 minutes video i previously made and come back however if you do know how callback functions work let's move on these promises came with the version of eh6 of javascript with the concept of asynchronous programming what asynchronous programming is your application does not wait until a certain function is done executing which means the execution of the functions or events is independent from the main program flow right so that's what basically asynchronous programming is okay i get that but what are promises actually well let's take a quick example let's say you are working at home you get hungry and you need to order a pizza so you call pizza hut and place your order they take your order and they say okay we will bring you a pizza when it is ready so they promise to deliver you a pizza so you just hang up the phone and continue to do your stuff you just don't have to call back and ask whether the pizza is ready or not when the pizza is ready one guy from pizza hut comes over and deliver the pizza at your doorstep so this is exactly what happens in promises in asynchronous programming let's take another example which is much relevant to programming you have an application developed with promises in your application at some point you need to get some data from an api you have a specific function for that so when the application runs that specific function is getting called but that function can take a while to complete its execution because that's an api call however your app doesn't want to stay there and wait until that function returns data because that makes the entire application slow instead that function promises okay i will let you know when the data is ready at some point in the future then you can perform any action based on the data for example if i brought you the data as promised you can perform some action or if i fail to do what i promised you can take another action so just don't wait for me you can continue what you are doing so this is exactly what promises are instantly all you get is a promise and that promise can be either fulfilled or broken at some point in the future but wait a minute we can do the same thing using callbacks right of course we can promises came to replace callbacks wait what callbacks are great i use callbacks almost everywhere of course callbacks are great let's find out what is really wrong with callback functions let's take another example let's say i have this simple application that performs like this first it pulls some data from an api then when the data is ready it saves the data in a local database and finally it displays the data to the user so to achieve this functionality we're going to have to implement three functions first one for getting data from the api and another function for saving data locally and the third one for displaying data i already have written these three functions and i am using callbacks so that i can run these functions asynchronously let's take a closer look at these functions the first function is get data from api and what it does is it just mimics the functionality of an api call and that function expect a callback function and calls that callback function after 
टू सेकेंड्स एंड द सेकेंड फंक्शन इट्स ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्ट टू पैरामीटर्स डेटा एंड अ कॉल बैक फंक्शन एंड इट ऑल्सो कॉल्स दैट कॉल बैक फंक्शन आफ्टर हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड्स एंड द थर्ड फंक्शन इज डिसप्ले डेटा इट जस्ट कॉल द कॉल बैक फंक्शन लाइक दिस सो वी गोन एक्सिक्यूट दिस फंक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू दि ऑर्डर वी वॉन्ट दम टू एक्सिक्यूट Again, if you are not familiar with callback functions, just watch this 10 minutes video I previously made, so that you can get the whole idea of callback functions. All right. First, I'm gonna call get data from API function. So that function expect a callback function. Therefore, I'm passing. an anonymous function as the callback function and that callback function uh, passes some data so i am going to have to put some parameter as well like this and inside that callback function i am going to call my second function which is save data locally like this and that function also expect two parameters which is data and a callback function so i'm going to pass this data object here and another anonymous function as the callback function like this and that callback function also pass in some argument so i'm going to have to put some parameter as well like this and inside this anonymous function what i am going to do is i'm going to call my third function which is display data like this and that function also expect a callback function all right i'm going to pass another anonymous function like this so that finally i can some just console log the response oops i forgot to put some parameter here i'm going to pass like this and i'm going to console log that parameter here first i call get data from api function and when the data is ready I call my second function which is save data locally and when the saving mechanism is complete I call my third function which is display data so that's it that's how we achieve this functionality using callbacks so what is really wrong with callback functions well as you can see in this chunk of code the more functions we have the more indentation we get let's say we have two more functions in our code we will get even more indentation uh, in this chunk of code so that will make our code harder to read and understand and what if we have multiple callbacks error callbacks and success callback that will make this code even more harder to understand and let's say we have some if conditions like this or a try catch that will make it even worse so not cool right we call this callback hell so using callback functions to achieve this sequential asynchronous behavior is not a good idea in a complex situation so that's why javascript developers came up with this idea call promise now let's rewrite this code to achieve the same functionality using promises all right let's change our first function which is get data from api i'm going to cut out this chunk of code 
and instead I'm gonna return a promise object new promise and this promise object requires a callback function so I'm gonna pass an anonymous function like this and this anonymous function should have two parameters which is resolve and reject like this if you want to return a successful response you're gonna have to call this resolve method and if something goes wrong you're gonna have to call this reject method all right now I'm gonna paste down this piece of code I had earlier like this and now I don't need the I don't need this uh, callback and I don't have to use this callback here and instead I'm gonna call resolve like this I'm just gonna pass this API data object with resolve for now I just use resolve method but uh, if you uh, but you can put some logic and call this reject method as well all right and I'm gonna change my second function as well save data locally I'm gonna cut out that old code and instead I'm gonna return a new promise my anonymous arrow function which takes resolve and reject I'm gonna remove my callback here and instead I'm gonna use my I'm gonna call my resolve like this and for the third function I'll do the same return new promise I'm gonna paste down my old code here what just happened all right and I'm gonna remove my callback and instead I'm gonna call my resolve all right now we have changed our all three functions to use promises now we need to call these functions according to the order we want them to execute and let's remove this ugly unmaintainable piece of code and write some cleaner code first we need to call our get data from api function get data from api and now we don't have to pass a callback instead we can use this then syntax like this we have to pass an anonymous function as the callback function here and whenever this get data from api function returns a successful promise anything inside this then will get called so we can call uh, this anonymous function when it returns a successful promise i'm gonna have i'm gonna pass some parameter here to catch this uh, argument and so this get data from api function returns a success promise which means that i need to call my second function save data locally we can call that method inside this anonymous function save data locally like this and if this function returns a successful promise we can use another then syntax like this and here we have to pass 
a callback function like this and we can call our third function which is display data and we have to pass some parameter here all right and our third function which is display data it also returns a promise if it is a successful promise I can use another then syntax here and inside that we can pass another anonymous function and take any further actions like calling another function uh, for now I'm just gonna console log the response all right all right now we implement the same functionality using promises as you can see now this chunk of code uh, is much cleaner uh, than the one we had earlier with callbacks we don't have any big indentation here and this is uh, much easier to read and understand and I should mention that you can also use catch keyword to catch any errors for all our three functions we used only resolve method but uh, in case uh, if you use this reject method to return any errors you can always use this catch keyword and uh, do necessary actions like calling another function on a rejected promise all right and we can run this and check if it works yes we get the response uh, from our third function which is display data so that means all three functions return successful promises so guys that's it for promises we learned what asynchronous programming is and what this promise concept is using examples and also we learned what is this big problem of callbacks and how to replace callbacks using promises and we implemented the same code we wrote using callbacks using promises all right i hope you enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll see you guys in the next video